Okay, so in this lesson, we will focus stack some images. Now, what is focus stacking? Let me try to explain by opening an image. Let's see, this one that we already worked on. Let me create a quick layer so we can draw some images here. Let me go with red. Usually focus stacking is used when you want to have a crisp image and a focused from, let's say, front to back, yeah? So you can do this in camera by increasing the f-stops to, let's say, f16, f22, but you can increase so much the f-stop until the image will become unusable. So the way you can do this is by taking multiple pictures with different focus plane. For example, you take this photo focusing first on this plane here. Then you focus a little bit more. This is going to be your second plane. This is going to be your third plane and so on and so forth. Your fourth plane, fifth plane. Then let's say you focus on her head here. It's going to be a next plane. Then you focus on this. Then you focus on the sea, on the horizon, and then you try to find some clouds around here. So you'll have one picture, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven you'll end up with 11 photos. You want these photos to be merged in automatically, so you'll have this entire image sharp. What we'll do is basically take the first image, number one, number two, number three, and so on and so forth until we'll reach number 11, and it will group them together, yeah? This will be done automatically. Let me show you how. So let's close this image and you can follow the steps with me. I've attached the images onto this uh, lesson files. So new focus merge option from file. Let's add the images. So you have the focus stack images. You can see that all of the images are CR2. Click and select all the images and click open. Now, an important bit. All the images needs to be in a row. So you have 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and so on and so forth. What's happening, this is a guide so this software will know exactly which one is first and which one is last, and it will focus. Hit OK, and let the magic happen. But you can see how this is working, pulling the information one by one from the image. And the result is amazing. Let's zoom in a little bit and see what we have here. This is cool. Everything is in focus. And of course, if you want more details, you can take more pictures decreasing the focus planes. So I think I've used at this point, I've used like a few millimeters like three, four millimeters between the planes. Because this is a layer, you can adjust the levels. You can do whatever you want with this image and try to edit to look perfect. I can see that the red is a little bit on the fritz. So let's increase the red a little bit. Close this. What else? Let's see, exposure, 
exposure is good curves if you want to use curves as well there are some people that curves are the best way of editing I tend to agree with them let's flatten the colors a little bit and there you go it's ready to be exported this is how you focus stack an image hopefully this was helpful if you have more questions please let me know in the chat or leave me a message on see you next lesson where we will create a high dynamic range image by merging three images.